Hello guys, let us look at another video of SpaceX updates. The weather is looking fantastic for today's United States Space Force's USS F-67 Falcon Heavy mission. SpaceX's most powerful operational rocket was rolled out from the hangar at dawn, while beautiful Florida sunshine lit up the space coast. This evening, at 5.55 p.m. Eastern Time, SpaceX will launch its third mission of the year. The Falcon Heavy rocket carrying United States Space Force's classified payloads will lift off from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center. The center core booster B-1070 will be expended and the two side strap boosters will return to Earth and land on Landing Zone 1 and Landing Zone 2 at Cape. We had to wait for almost three years to see a Falcon Heavy mission last year in November, and in less than three months, we are going to see another one. This is just the first of five planned Falcon Heavy missions this year. Don't forget to watch this mission live here on the channel. Starlink Group 24 launch has now been delayed until January 18. After two attempts to launch the mission, SpaceX has decided to push it further due to unfavorable recovery weather conditions with 15-plus foot waves in the Pacific Ocean. Going across Texas, this early morning, SpaceX rolled out Starship S-25 to the Starbase launch site from the high bay. We don't have any more road closure schedules for this week until Tuesday, next week. An unexpected two-hour long road closure was posted for SpaceX transportation activities. We just didn't know what was moving where, until they rolled out S-25 from the high bay. Yesterday on the orbital launch mount, a vital test was conducted on the full-stack Starship. Both the booster and Starship were filled with liquid nitrogen and liquid oxygen. Although we expected a full-load cryogenic test, the rocket was not fully loaded with cryo. Both the LOX tank and methane tank were partially filled. A new interesting venting pipe could be seen for the first time. It was the Raptor chilling vent from under the Starship that went down below the booster. It was pretty cool to see in a new one for the spectators. Both the booster and Starship engine chilling tests were conducted simultaneously. SpaceX also practiced retraction of the ship's QD arm in real-time speed, simulating a launch-like condition. And SpaceX called it a day. What do you think will happen next week? I would say, potential wet dress rehearsal and destacking of Starship S-24 from Booster 7. That is it for now, see you again in the next video with more news.